First, it was Derek in the first episode that died from the board in the tea party. Now, Mimir has died, and bro, I didn't even know who the fuck Mimir was. I feel actually terrible for not knowing these characters, but the author keeps wiping out these no-name characters one by one. It doesn't matter. You know why? Because Sarah is totally into Rudy. Mimir's sacrifice will be remembered through Sarah. Now, do you think that Rudy's gonna break her heart? I think so. Like, this is such a classic way of girl that hates guy and eventually, oh, she turns out that he's actually a good person. But the guy has some other, you know, heavy shit that's going on. He has to eventually leave. And Sarah's gonna be like, don't leave me, Rudy. You think that Rudy's gonna be the heiress in this situation and Sarah's gonna be the Rudy? We'll figure it out. Let's begin today's reaction. Mm -hmm. Sarah? <laughs> Wait, really close? Holy shit. I just... This is not gonna last. You know her heart's gonna be broken, bro. I... Ah... Uh... Rudy, not only is there Eris, but there's also Sylphie. You can't fit Sarah in there too. Unless, I mean, I mean, um, you could go for, you know, a harem route. Oh, I forgot. There's also Roxy. God about her, our holy relic. <laughs> That's the first thing she mentioned. Look at her eyes. Hmm. Hmm. Wait till you figure out what he has in his pockets. Sarah, ask him. You want to go shopping together? Mm, a little date time. Okay. But. Oh, no. This smile, man. Oh, no. This poor girl. <laughs> Look at Suzanne. <laughs> Suzanne's like, let's fucking go, Sarah. Make your move. Oh, she wore something nice for Rudy. Yes, your hair looks fine. How do I look? Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Are we actually getting matching knives? Yeah? Little couple's knives? Oh shit, we got couples knives. Oh, oh, you, no, no, we should enjoy the present, right? We should enjoy the present, but you know how this is gonna end. Drinking at a bar together after a date. Oh, what's gonna happen after this? You're gonna bring her home? Because she's growing. Is that what you're implying? <laughs> Rudy, focus! As if you weren't just baiting him for that reaction. <laughs> oh, shit. Is so into it. Yes, bro. She'd do anything for you. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you going for it or what? To your end. No. I want you to take me home. Your home. <laughs> No, bro, Paul would have, Paul would have made, dude, Paul would be fucking right now. He, no, two episodes ago, Paul would have been already fucking right now if he was Rudy. You know how Paul works. Oh, your place. Look at her. Come on, bro. Catch. Bro, we have the, the shrine for our sacred relic, right? We got to take that down. We can't let her see it. Yo, is, is the shrine still up? We gotta get rid of that. We can't let her see Roxy's panties. Oh, the shrine is right over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love how there's the actual Rudy's voice just keeps commentating. I love you. Please go out with me. Go ahead. Really? That's a first? I just... Go ahead. Do it. Oh! I feel like I shouldn't be watching this. What are you gonna do, Rudy? What? This is... I... Watching sex scenes is so awkward. I feel like I'm watching a movie and the sex scene happened with your par- He can't get hard? He's got the whiskey dick. He, he drank so much he can't get hard? What? Yeah, she's fine, but, but, but what, Rudy? What, what's going on? <laughs> Look at this thing. Warning signal. <laughs> there is no blood flow! He can't get hard! Oh, this is so embarrassing! This is third hand cringe! Oh. How come indeed? Why? Bro, what happened? Come on! Get out! <laughs> Bro! Use your magic! Make the blood go down there! Oh, this is... You fucking... Imagine how she feels after all that. 
No, that's a lie. She feels like he couldn't get her. Now she feels like, you know, she, she he doesn't like her, right? No, that's a lie. That's a total lie. Uh-uh. Now she's getting embarrassed and walking out. You fucked up. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh, we had too many dubs lately with Rudy. I, I should have expected like this, but this is downright just humiliating. Bro, hide your ass. He's freezing. Well, I mean, if you're cold, you can't get hard either. <laughs> Our favorite tower. What's up, dude? I don't think he's necessarily such a bad guy. Yes, it was a shitty day. I think we'll actually work with him, right? <laughs> okay, I, as soon as I say... <laughs> as soon as I say, I don't think it's a bad guy. He just... Oh! Get him, dude! Yeah, you are always just fucking going so aggro. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. <laughs> He's just letting it... I'm, I'm sure the punches don't actually hurt, right? Maybe he realized like, oh shit, he was actually going through it. Uh, all right, I'll, my bad. I'll just take the hits right now. Cause that was the wrong assumption he made last episode, right? Like, why do you look down on us with that smile? Damn. This is getting way too real. I think even he's realizing like, oh shit, he was having a terrible day. What have I done? Yo, we should just drink it out and become friends. I don't, I think he feels so bad. Look at his eyes. Maybe he can relate? What's going on? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Even he's like, yo, the kid's going through it. What are you doing? I shouldn't be having so much fun. Why am I laughing so much? <laughs> I think he's struggling too, but the fact that he just said, maybe you you have it the worst. Hey, it's going to be all right, pal. You can tell me. <laughs> We're just going to have a heart to heart now. Okay. Hey, maybe this is the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Why are you gonna eat so many sausages when we're talking about can't get it up? You know what wasn't straight? His dick. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. It's all right. Here, have a drink. I can't believe he's being our therapist this episode. Rudy is pouring his heart out. And it's this motherfucker that's helping him. <laughs> Never would I've imagined after the shit I saw last episode. <laughs> no, no. Eris's reason was that she needs to move on and like become stronger and train because of the, in the, the tr because of the encounter with Orsted, right? Oh, we're going to the red light district. Oh, okay. But what if you can't get it up here and we waste money and disappoint the fucking people working here are there any uh you know cat girls there there's gotta be some oh i like that one right there left i like that one. the one in the red did we pick the one in the red i think it is kind of maybe it is her she this is also kind of reminding of uh what was her name in roxy's party Erize Erize or something you know the blonde elf that was doing like a five sum in season one Oh, you know about that quagmire, huh? I mean, we would love to, but can he get it up? Can, can he get it up? How's the blood flow, bro? How's it going? I hear that the more you drink alcohol, like, there's a term called whiskey dick. You drank so much whiskey, you can't get hard anymore. Yeah? Well, damn, we're getting a lot of fan service this episode. Hey, come on, cameraman, up! Oh, that's a veil. Yes, ma'am, but don't skip it. Ah, oh, we skipped it. <laughs> He's got erectile dysfunction! Do we have Viagra in this world? Oh, imagine her, like, how she feels like, oh, no, these poor girls. Bro. Maybe there's a gay bar here. Hey, I mean, he rolls that way. You don't know? Show Rudius some top quality femboy bussy. Maybe it'll work. 
You never know. Roxy. Maybe if you sniff the panties, you could get hard. I don't know. I feel bad for that girl. Like, imagine, it's just like... I'm sure she wouldn't take it personally, but Sarah definitely did. Dude, I can't believe this entire episode is dedicated towards fixing Rudy's erectile dysfunction. This is fucking wild. So still drunk, man. <laughs> they're, they're best friends now, man. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Hey, come on! You couldn't even get heart friends! Is that Sarah? You didn't hear it, right? Soul's eyes are telling me that's Sarah behind. Bro! Bro, shut up! I think it's over. I think it's over. Look behind you. Look behind you. How much did you have that listen? How Suzanne was there too? Suzanne was there too! No! You deserve to get slapped here. You deserve to get smacked the fuck up. Absolutely deserve. How dare you talk that shit when you couldn't even get hard? You are the worst. I'd rather have a real man. You can't even get hard. Limp dick motherfucker. Clearing a blizzard. Okay, can't even get hard. Get the fuck out of my face. I feel so bad for Sarah. Did she drop that knife that we got matching knives for? Yeah. Bro, that was out of pocket. That was so out of pocket. I know you were drunk and you were kind of like lashing out, but that's the fucking couple's knife we got. Oh, no. That's not even Soul's fault. Fuck? Did he actually try to kill himself there? Bro, your life is not worth losing over that. I, I love how Sol just here every step of the way to help him out. Paul is out somewhere. I don't know. He kind of looks like Paul. Sol is like a big brother we never had, huh? Yeah, let's join your party. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> you know, last episode, he sucker punched, but he also, you know, had some stuff going on in the bar, right? Even though he was lashing out, it seems like he was really struggling. I never really thought that he was actually a bad guy. He just comes off really, you know, a very brash person, but no. I think there's something special here, man. He spent the entire fucking day and night giving Rudy therapy, taking him out to the fucking red light district. Couldn't get hard, still giving an advice, extending an arm. Hey, you know what? Join our party, bro. We, we got you. That's Ro That's the girl I was talking about earlier. Irina, you say something, right? That's the girl that was in like a foursome. <laughs> Dude, her voice immediately changed. Oh my gosh, she works hard. Yeah, come on, threesome light now. Let's go, bro. <laughs> He's making shit up, right? I think he's making this shit up. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. I think you just got lied to, maybe. An entire episode dedicated towards fixing Rudy's fucking erectile dysfunction. We didn't fix it. We might have lost Sarah. We might have pissed a lot of people off. But we got a big bro. Saul's here for us, man. He's such a good guy. Terrible first impressions last episode, right? He was a dick. But beneath all that, he's actually a really nice guy. He's helping us out. And at the end there, Roxy's party, Erina Rize, right? I, I think that's her name. Uh, so she's already here. So she knows about Rudy. She's been searching for Rudy because that's what Roxy's party was doing the entire time. I'm not sure if the people lied so that just could, you know, they could get some free pussy. But I don't know. Maybe they'll meet up soon enough. And then somehow Roxy and Rudy might get together. We'll see how it goes. The thing about Sarah, maybe this is better this way. Because I was thinking, everybody's the fucking same thing. We can't stay here forever. Rudy's going to eventually leave and it's going to break Sarah's heart. I was thinking about maybe we should just enjoy our time in the present with her. But eventually, our heart's going to get broken. But if we're already, you know, at odds against each other right now, you know, she's saying, fuck off, I don't need you. Maybe we, pr you know, protect her heart. But I would argue we've pretty much broken our heart this episode. It is what it is. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.